Well, hey, this is Dr. Drake, sixty-three guys, and um, today I'm just going to talk a little bit more about this Dan Wesson fifteen-two. You see here, this is the uh, original factory grip or stocks that came with it, the one piece, which is kind of a Dan Wesson thing, and. Uh, I've never been a big fan of these. I do understand uh, that these these do have some value, but I've never really liked the finish. It almost looks somebody like somebody painted plastic, which is not the case. Uh, they do have the silver medallion right there. A little bit closer look at. But um, I've always been a great admirer of the zebra stocks. And these are a little bit sought after and I went to a local gun shop and was able to get a, a really good deal on these. And uh, a couple things gives me a little bit more something to hold on to when I'm firing, which I like. This is not a concealed carry gun or anything, uh, but just a, a very nice pattern on the wood. And this is uh, what I'd call a later Dan Wesson logo. Not 100% sure about that, but uh, the... The, the stocks themselves, I believe, just look a lot more attractive on the firearm. Now, this one, uh, after getting it, and I got it cheap, really cheap, but I noticed it had some modifications, and someone had gone in and sanded this down to allow uh, more of their hand to get purchased up high on the grip. You can kind of see that right there. And they also even sand it down a little bit. You can see right here on the right side for palm swell. Well, if you look at my hands, which are of the muscular bear paw type variety, um, you, you actually want a little bit less grip. And so whoever did this, I'm, I'm fairly certain, probably had hands just a lot like me. And I will say that, uh, you know, from a value standpoint, this might devalue these grips a little bit. Um, this really works out well as far as just getting a real good purchase on this. And yes, I do have my finger on the trigger and I have checked that it's unloaded. Uh, but it works out pretty well for me. Uh, these zebra stock grips tend to be a little bit uh, of the thicker variety and, uh, you know, more of a target style grip. Whereas this is a little bit more smaller in the in the holster kind of feel here, and nothing wrong with them. They're they're slimmer, uh, a little bit more of a textured surface. But uh, like I said, I just a preference thing. I just happen to like the look of that zebra grip as opposed to uh, the factory grip. So we spent very little money, made a really cool change. Uh, there you go. When you're buying Dan Wesson grips, make sure you get the ones that are for the square tang. You're looking for what's called small frame. Okay, so if you look right in here, there has to be uh, a fit for that square tang of, of the pistol. They do make round tangs, larger frame uh, versions as well for the 44s that they have. So uh, just wanted to show you that. Now, I've had people ask the question, Dave, you know, why Why do you make so many videos about the same gun uh, in your video selection? And the reason for that is quite simple. Uh, number one, I, I don't get a new gun every week. Number two, I buy a lot of older guns and I do modifications. You saw the last video about this was putting in a, a new mainspring. Um, and uh, I do modifications, I change stocks, I refinish stocks, things of that nature. And uh, really, my videos are tailored for a guy that wants to get a firearm and wants to know as much as they can about it in terms of how it works and how to make it work better. So if uh, that's you, then you're probably my target audience. If you're some guy that wants to see a lot of bang, bang, lots of rock and roll music and uh, five minute attention span, probably not. But anyway, I thought this was a real cool change. I'm going to decide what I want to do with this. I've seen these fetch a pretty penny on eBay, and uh, so we'll decide. But uh, I might just hang on to them both, and, and we'll go from there. But this is this is a keeper for me. My father-in-law, who passed away last year, uh, 
really gave me a hard time when I sold my prior 15 too. And he said, you ever get another opportunity to get your hands on one of those, grab it. And, uh, you know, he meant for him, well, he's no longer around, but uh, kind of in honor of his memory of a guy that's my, my wife's dad, long-term hunting buddy, and uh, a guy that I love to talk to, I need to hang on to this. Anyway, this is DR Drake 63 I hope you enjoyed this today. Have a good one. See you down the road.